have a question in the chat. What is the difference between ketosis and ketoacidosis? Keto is dangerous, especially for diabetics. Unfortunately, this is a really common myth that comes from people, even some medical professionals, confusing ketosis with ketoacidosis. Yeah, it can be a little frustrating for those of us on keto, but let's break it down. Break it down. Ketosis and ketoacidosis are both terms related to the production of ketones in the body, but they're actually very different. Ketosis just means that your body is using ketones, which are molecules that help break down fat to use for energy. Yeah, it's a completely normal and healthy process, ketosis is. Even in the short time between dinner and breakfast, for example, many of us will naturally start producing ketones. On keto, we usually aim to stay in ketosis, also called a ketogenic state, long term. It's what makes keto so successful as a tool for healthy weight loss. You're keeping your body in a state where it naturally burns fat for fuel. Score! Ketoacidosis, on the other hand, is a serious medical condition marked by an extreme amount of ketones in the bloodstream. This can cause the blood to become acidic. And yeah, you probably don't need me to tell you that's not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing. So does this mean ketosis is dangerous? No. No, 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 no. Ketoacidosis almost never happens as a result of limiting your carbs in the context of a ketogenic diet. Just to give you an idea of how drastically different they are, let's look at how many ketones are actually in your blood in ketosis versus ketoacidosis. With normal ketosis, ketones usually measure around 0.5 to 2 millimoles per liter. In ketoacidosis, those levels are as high as 15 to 25. Oh, wow, yikes, that's a huge, huge difference. difference. Now normally the body does a really good job of keeping those ketones in check so you don't reach those levels. Which is why it's not something most of us need to stress about. Yep. Ketoacidosis usually only happens when there are other health complications. Like diabetes. Right. But it doesn't happen just because you're cutting back on carbs. Are there other keto myths that you want us to debunk? Let us know in the comments.